Hey, you beautiful people, you're welcome to you at the Block TV. It's your boy Davis A. Tabot, Chef Daway. You already know how we roll. And with me here today is Sport Vrizaville. How y'all doing? Yeah, we have Vrizaville in the building all the way from USA. And um, he's actually here in Cameroon to create an impact and trying to um, leave a tray when it comes to his art. Right? So, Vrizavi, you're welcome. So, um, how long have you been in the country for? Um, approximately three days now. Just came to like um, Sunday night. Yeah, we uh, pretty much have a lot to talk about and a lot of catching up to do in as much as Cameroon is concerned. But today, um, on this program, we're here to talk about 10 reasons why someone should date a Cameroonian girl. And um, three days into the country, I guess you, you must have seen a lot of pretty ladies. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before leaving the country, you already know Cameroon got it, right? Yeah, for I'm, sure. It shouldn't be like I'm putting that into no, your mouth, you Cameroon know? No, Cameroon got girls. They got beautiful yeah. girls. No, no mistaken. They got beautiful girls. Yeah, pretty, pretty good girls. But you know these days, we don't just date because we want to date. We date for reasons, right? Yeah. And um, as an artist, I think it will be like part of your, um, your message, trying to give reasons why people should respect women and reasons why people should really look at them to be holistic, right? Mm-hmm. I think I got a few reasons why. Okay. I okay. think I got a few, so... But on the topic we are talking about, um, I have Miss Ayang. She'll be coming on set to give us 10 reasons why someone should date a Cameroonian girl. Um, I don't know if you have any song, like something you, you, know, you did in the past that was about Cameroonian ladies. Um, yeah, it's something, um, Nina actually, is a song Nina. that I did um, appreciating not just Cameroonian girls, but um, African females in general. Okay. I believe they all worth appreciating, you know. Yeah. The black is beautiful. And black is praise. beautiful. I like that. I like that black. Is beautiful. Ah, we don't we don't trade this for anything on this planet. We yeah. don't, right? Yeah, black is beautiful. That's a keyword coming from Razorway all the way from USA. He's here to leave an impact, just like I made mention from the beginning of this video. And um, I'm pretty happy because we're gonna be part of his journey, and you'll be seeing Razorway like always. Okay, thank you, bro, for yes, sir. being in the building. Thanks, let me have yeah. a nice meal. Yeah. Hey, you beautiful people, you're welcome once more again to you at the Block TV. And yeah, with me is Miss Ayo. Oh, Miss Ayo, I thought you would be Mrs. Ah, oh, my bad. <laughs> it's a miss for now. Miss for now. Yeah. Oh, I I think like not long from now we're changing that into like miss somebody. Sure. Okay. Okay, we here to get ten reasons from her why someone like Vrisa V, an artist, artist, not just any kind of artist, artist who's who's actually an embodiment of talent, like super talented. I someone like him should date coming all the way from USA, the US of A should date a Cameroonian lady while he's here in Cameroon. So she's here to give us ten reasons. Are you ready? Sure. Are you ready? I am. Uh whenever I see the smile, uh he speaks of one thing, just your readiness. Okay, let's go. I'll be giving out ten reasons why I think a guy, be it a Cameroonian or any other guy, can date a girl from Cameroon. Okay. And the very first reason I'm about to give is respect. You know, every man likes respect. Cameroonian ladies are very, very respectful. As it is said biblically, wives submit to your husband. And a Cameroonian lady is a good example of that. 
Although not all Cameroonian ladies are respectful birds, majority are respectful, especially women coming from the northwest region of Cameroon. Coming from the northwest region of Cameroon, like that's pretty much a case study. Like coming from the northwest region, are you from the northwest? I'm not from the northwest, but this is just what I've seen. Like women from the northwest of Cameroon are very respectful. Very, very. Yeah, definitely respect is everything. You washing me out there, a lady, and you're crushing on me. I don't need love from you. My love is self-sustaining. I love myself. I, yeah. I just need you to respect me. So that's just an additional feather to her cap, adding more weight to what she said. You gotta respect men out there. That's all they require from you. I, pretty good one. High five. The second reason why I think every other man should get married to a Cameroon lady it's that Cameroonian ladies are hardworking. You hardly see a lady idle. No, they are very, very hardworking. They always look for little jobs to do to earn up money for themselves, to provide for their needs. They don't like depending on the man. So, with that one, I can give a hand of applause to Cameroonian girls because they are hardworking. Wow, Cameroonian ladies are hardworking. So, she said, What about the slave queens out there who are pre preoccupied? Um, like being in front of their mirrors, painting and flaunting all the gut in front of social media. They go in front of social media, they sleep, yeah. but if you go deeply into it, they have your business to do. Most of them do online business. Yeah. Some sell clothes online, some have yeah. to sell stretch mark products. They, they do a whole lot of things. Some are makeup artists just to be able to provide something for themselves, they don't want to depend on men. So that's why I say a girl from Cameroon, it's very, very hardworking. Yeah, um, coming from uh, a generation where they say men are equal with women, like people fighting for gender equality. I suppose, or let me put it this way, I think it's pretty much okay for women as well to fend for themselves, like to hustle. But that's hardly ever the reality out there. They just want to compete with a man, like just, oh, you don't want that I'll man to get I'll cut you a, short on yeah? that. I'll cut you short on that. You know, it's not like women work to compete with men. Yeah. Women work because no man wants to get married to a lazy woman. Trust me, you wouldn't want to get married to a lady who doesn't work, a housewife, you don't want that right. You need a lady who supports you in one or two ways, a lady who won't ask, who won't depend on you. At least there should be one or two things she can do for herself and do for the family, not depending on you because it's going to be like an extra burden. No, for me, I think otherwise. I think the greatest role of a woman is to be able to manage a family and present to society some upright children. When she's out there looking for money and the man is out there looking for money as well, at the end of the day, we we'll have children who, who, who've been great with no morals in them and they become disastrous to society out there you know can i prove you wrong too? yeah you do that eh? can you get married to a jobless lady to a jobless lady her job is to take care of me no, manage no, 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 no. my family that's a I job totally it's a full-time it's totally a full-time job I no no I, I did not say her place is in the kitchen yeah. no that's that's pretty much opposed to the old like that kind of archaic kind of mentality those people who want to condition women to stay in the kitchen. No, I for one, chef that way, there's no woman who can beat me when it comes to the kitchen, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, like, like pretty Did much. Try the yeah. <laughs> and but, see if I won't beat you. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, we need women who, women who actually know their role in society. And a woman is actually a firm pillar on which the society gets to lean on. Without her playing her role, we have a deteriorated society out there. A society where we have kids with zero uh, morals and upbringing. They go out there, they steal, they do whatever, whatever you can think, possibly think about. That's because some mother out there is out there chasing money or some career as opposed to being um, in the house, a housewife and taking care of a family which is the very most important role of any woman out there. But you know, if you get married to a jobless woman, you still end up complaining because all the burden of the house is going to fall on you. Well, some men will complain, but definitely a man 
who is a man will never complain because that's his that's his role. He's supposed to go out there and and fend for the family, do everything for the family. Just come and give the woman to manage. But the woman, the woman is the manager. So supportive. She needs her support by taking care of the family is everything. Is everything. Okay, let's get to point number three. Why we should date? <laughs> Cameroonian ladies. Yeah, the third reason I'm going to give is that Cameroonian ladies are good cook. As we all know, Cameroon is African meaning nature. So, getting married to a Cameroonian lady, you're entitled to a whole lot of dishes. Trust me, Cameroonian ladies are good cook. We have different types of dishes. We have eru, we have koki, we have a whole lot of dishes. And a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. A way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of, kind of. Me will get big belly, so yeah, would I feel we? But man picking and they out the way, chopping they move them all. So that kind of man, how do you intend to get into his heart? You cannot pass through food. Yes, really? we know Cameroon have a variety of food, like different kind of food out there. And if you're getting married to a Cameroonian lady or you're dating her, no, not dating. Most Cameroonian ladies today, they don't cook for men, they, they are dating, you know. Yeah, they, they don't cook for them. Yes. So if you're getting married, if you want to go like that extra mile, you have a, a whole lot of food to eat from them because we have a whole lot of tribes and different food to present. But I, I, I chop to now, it's you now. It goes beyond that, my people. It goes beyond that. You're talking about food. No, but this is one of the key bases in marriage food. Yes. If you get married to a lady who doesn't cook well, trust me, you'll be forced to go out because you get tired of going to the restaurant always. Now, you're coming back to that point like a woman's place is in the kitchen. I, I didn't say a woman's place is in the kitchen. I just yeah. said Cameroonian ladies are good cook. Even when you're at work, you just think of the good food your wife has cooked back home. Oh my God, yeah. I have to rush home. So now she's out there working, taking care of her career. When will she find the time to come back to cook for Everything me? is about programming. She draws her program in a way that she could cook. She could go to work and do the children laundry, do her household chores. Everything no, I, d I didn't say I didn't say she, ha she has to do all of that because... As a man, I'm supposed to do part of the house with Charles myself. But um, you, I'm just trying to contradict your own point, using your points against you, you yeah. know. Okay, let's get to point number four. Yeah, point number four. Point number four. Cameroonian ladies are very beautiful. I know one of the most beautiful ladies in Africa comes from Cameroon, but actually, beauty doesn't keep some man birth. Majority of our men now are these. They love pretty ladies with good attitudes. Wow. Um, she's talking about um, like a physical quality, beauty. Yeah. Yeah. I, for one, yeah, I get moved by beauty. I get attracted by beauty. But what keeps me after I've had a beautiful lady uh, far from beauty, you know, is her character. It's every bit of her character, just like she said. So she said beauty Cameroonian ladies are pretty much beautiful but she also acknowledged beauty alone doesn't keep a man which I support yeah. okay let's get to point number five at the fifth point we can say Cameroonian ladies are managers of finance when it comes to man a man they love they will teach you how to economize your money to establish something great. That's if they love you, but if they don't love you, trust me, they are going to lavish all your money. They are going to use your money to slay. But if they love you, they are going to support you as it goes behind every successful man. There must be a woman. And a Cameroonian lady, it's a perfect one for you. Well, um, this particular point, I'm not going to argue with her because she stated the point and self-contradicted herself. Like... Um, um, Cameroonian ladies, they are pretty good at management, but if she doesn't love you, she's going to use your money to slay. That's the part most guys see because most guys go out there saying Cameroonian ladies are slay queens. They just want the, the, the weight 30 inches, 32 inches. They just want to slay out there and they pretty much have nothing to contribute. But you're, get, you're hearing from a lady, if she loves you, she's going to ensure your money and resources are managed but if she's not into you 
she's gonna slay on your money all right okay point number six let's go yeah the six points Cameroonian girls are good on great they can make you get if they can make you attain a certain point of satisfaction when it comes to bed but sex doesn't know she's really keeping money Cameroonian ladies are good in bed oh my god oh my god that's pretty much a good one yeah if you can be good in bed the other points you've already given they are pretty much self complimentary just being good in bed is everything yeah. you're coming out from a very tiring day and there's this woman with some um massage oil and she's there like oh darling just lie on the bed and she's giving you that massage and from that massage you get maybe a head something like that oh yeah. they're good in bed on the seventh point we have cameroonian ladies are loving and caring like if a cameroonian girl loves you she gives you all the care the attention the love you need she's everything when she loves you and she's wholeheartedly devoted to you you're going to enjoy her but if she doesn't love you forget it yeah that point is kind of conditional just like the previous point love is based on love why would you even date someone when you don't love them which other reason is there, there are many reasons to date someone you don't love why like one give me one i could date you because i want your money i don't love you you could date me because yeah. you want my money and yeah. you don't love me i don't love me i could date you to get fame that if you're famous i would just date you because i need the fame yeah. but i don't really love you wow 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 okay guys i hope you're learning on the eighth point i'll say cameroonian girls know how to build up good homes they know how to give out good home training to their kids like if a cameroonian mother wants to be disciplined and she, if she wants to sound you here when you do wrong uh, just leave it when it comes to discipline i respect cameroon girls for that no they know they know it like um not the girls the moms the sisters and they know it like it said in the bible train up a child in the way they should go and when he or she grows old they will never depart from it that's exactly what cameroonian women do that's what they do i will not argue you on this one and for this sole reason you're giving me a peck right now right here put it here <laughs> Yeah, the nine points, Cameroonian ladies are very, very creative. Talking about the northern part of Cameroon, where we have these Muslim women, they are so, so creative. Yeah. They use cane to build up chairs, what we know as cane chairs, to build up baskets, which our mothers use in buying stuffs in the market, used to sift that, to watch a goosey, sorry. Then they also use the same cane things to build up mats, which you lie on during the dry season to take fresh air outside. Yeah. And they also dry up this skin cow. Hi, they made it dry. Can that cow? Can that yeah, cow? They, they dry it. Yeah. And they sell it as a source of income to gain money. There are a whole lot of things. The milk cutters, the Cameroonian ladies are very, very creative. Wow, very, wow, wow, wow. On that, I, I support that. You use the women from the north, the northern part of Cameroon's case study. Yeah, they're pretty much hardworking in every essence of it and i would like to add or reiterate on the northwest some women they are pretty much hardworking as well you have them to go to the farm they want to take care to make sure the kids are well fed and make sure as a man you will not suffer alone they will be there for you to make sure um everything is all right so that's pretty much a good point and i, I appreciate that ah i beg you. The way I on over the accept your point, the man. You know, you already charm me with the Cameroon no, woman I'm just spirit. Being real. I'm just being Cameroon real. woman spirit. Probably she's already charming with the Cameroonian lady spirit. I don't no. know. Is that a spare also in Cameroon? Like some guy just sitting by you and he's already taking head no, over no, heels. No, 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 no. Okay, I beg, I beg, I beg. Even if I forgive me my maximum drink, up. okay. Let's go. Point number ten. That's okay, the, last the tenth point. point. Let me um, hear that. Above all, Cameroonian ladies are God-fearing. And you know what it means getting married to a God-fearing woman. Your your family, your family as a whole is secure. Your children are going to have a good moral upbringing. And you yourself as a man, you're going to be secure because through Christ, we have everything we need. Oh, oh my God. If you mention like this ninth 
point nine points without talking about Cameroonian ladies being got here and I'll definitely run away. I, I wouldn't even want to touch a Cameroonian lady, even if you give me a stick. I will not touch them. But the fact that you mentioned their God fearing, that's everything. A woman who fears God will definitely respect her husband. Yeah. She will definitely be there to take care and raise her kids in the light of God as prescribed by the Bible. Yeah. She will be there to assist her husband playing her role as a firm and supportive woman behind him. So that crowns it all. That crowns it all. And this as well puts a crown on your head. So let me give you my cup. All right? The 10 point. <laughs> Come on, young ladies, they're respectful. Clap for her. Una clap for you now.